since the beginning of our use of fossil energy, the temperature of the average surface of the planet has gone up by about 0.8 of a degree centigrade. That's all. And you look around you and you see the changes that we are experiencing, loss of Arctic ice, extreme weather, flooding, droughts, loss of grain crops, uh, extreme cold winters, the, the extreme weather events have rapidly multiplied as a result of 0.8 of a degree. That's how sensitive the Earth is to change in temperature. Now, the consequences of what we are doing depend very much on this issue of sensitivity. So I'm going to just bring that out to the fore. Our planetary home amplifies the effects of change in carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. There's a whole load of what they call feedbacks that mean if carbon dioxide changes by X, the temperature changes by about four or five times, or even five or six times, or maybe even seven times, the effect of just the carbon dioxide change on its own. The connection between the amount of carbon we put out and the increase in temperature is being modelled by our computers and they are using an understanding of temperature sensitivity that is very, very conservative indeed. In other words, they would say if we double the concentration of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere, the temperature would probably go up about three degrees. Now, if we really understand the sensitivity of our Earth's climate system, we would realize that three degrees needs multiplying by about two and a half times to tell us the real eventual temperature to which we are, the temperature change to which we are exposing ourselves. Right, so our computer models say, well, if we go up to, what, what's the figure they use? About 440 parts per million of carbon dioxide. That's up from about 280, just before the Industrial Revolution started. Then maybe the temperature would go up about 2 degrees. Uh, uh no, that's the computer models. The reality is more like 5 degrees. Now we begin to look. Four degrees between the depth of the last ice age and where we are today. And we're talking about pretty well where we are in the outputs of carbon dioxide, putting another five degrees, four or five degrees, into the change in temperature of the planet. So we're going as far into the unknown heating as we've come from the depth of the ice age to where we are now. And the myth that we are working with that says there is plenty of room to go on emitting carbon before we reach critical thresholds in the planetary system. That's, that's rubbish. What is very clear now is that the plans that we have for slow reduction of emissions, if at all, allow not just 440 parts per million, but more like five, six, seven, eight hundred parts per million. And that puts a temperature increase, even with the conservative computer modeling, of around four or five degrees change for the planet as a whole. And if you look at the reality of planetary sensitivity, that's going to be more like 10 to 12 degrees for the planet as a whole. Three times the shift from the Ice Age to now? You're joking. Even four degrees would be a disaster of, the catas of catastrophic proportions. Why? Well, at point eight of a degree, we're seeing the collapse of ice sheets around Greenland and some in, in Antarctica. That will progress. By the time you reach two or three degrees globally, it's good by Antarctic, West Antarctic ice sheet. It's good by Greenland. That's an increase of sea level of between, what, 10, 20 metres, 30 to 60 feet on top of our current high tides. 
Can you imagine what that does to coastal cities where most of our populations are concentrated? Can you imagine what that does to low-lying countries like Bangladesh and Holland oh, and, and the areas around London and New York, just to name a couple? And the drought areas that are then going to expand as the deserts move outwards. You've already seen burning fires in, in Australia, burning fires in California. That will go skyrocketingly high. So increased wildfires, increased burn up of forests, increased droughts, increased floods, increased sea level, massive disruption of crop behaviours, starvation, escalating food prices threats to population stability, economic stability, political stability, massive migration. You want a world like that? Then go ahead, burn that extra bit of fossil fuel. But if you've got any ounce of sense in you and sensibility and concern about the future of life on Earth, let alone the future of civilization, then it's time to come to your senses and say, four degrees is way outside what is permissible. Two degrees is already catastrophic climate change. One degree is pretty tough to, to accommodate and adapt to. Point eight is where we're at, and we ain't seen nothing yet in terms of the consequences of that. 